some more trays down here. This is the second time I've gone through security. I'm gonna help you. <laughs> hey, you! Don't watch that, watch this. This is the heavy, heavy monster sound. The Nazis sound around. So if you're coming up the street and you're beginning to feel the heat, well, listen, Buster, you better start to move your feet to the rockiness, rock steady beat. Any rate, folks, uh, we're still in Linden, and this is the most impressive little town I've ever seen in my life. I've never seen such high and medium and even low end houses that are all looking beautiful. Well kept. It's just well kept. People care up here. Uh, once again, uh, you're on Rocky's road trip to Washington, visiting his uh, favorite brother, uh, uh, John, uh, uh, <laughs> Tom, Bobby. Give, give me some help. Yeah. Uh, Paul, Paul, he's Paul. Um, you're sure about that? Yeah, it's Paul. And uh, we gotta go by this nursery again, cause Rocky's gonna, get a gift a thank you gift and it better still be here it's still here All right, there it is right there okay um, as a thank you gift um, uh, Jan looked at a tree that I'd never seen before and she really loved it and she probably wouldn't buy it but you see I would and it, it it'll be a keepsake uh, if it lives. <laughs> At any rate, we're going back to that nursery we filmed earlier. Hey, Rock again. Hey, uh, I love your place. And I want to give a uh, thank you gift to uh, Paul and Jan who are putting me up here. And I noticed that she loved that uh, double weeping cherry you've got. Yes. And I think your best one is right out in front. Probably so. I'd like to buy that. You bet. Yeah. Sounds good. You think you could load that up and uh, tell me what I need as far as amendments? Sure. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Okay, let's, let's do it. Okay. Trees on the truck. Uh, we're going to use some uh, root, root and grow, uh, stimulate. Uh, new growth help it. Uh, we're not going to put any amendments. Uh, they've got sandy soil. We're going to drive real slow because normally I'd, I'd protect that tree. And we've got some other places to visit. Uh, so I'm, we're going back to the house and drop this tree off. And then uh, we got a little more daylight left. So um, we can shoot a couple more shots. You're watching Rock Out on a Limb, and I just bought a beautiful double cherry weeping tree, and it's going to be a knockout in several years. Go ahead, bring it. Yeah. Yeah, we're taking this tree home now. Right. You listening? <laughs> I'm going to do a selfie. Are you listening? Because I'm moving. Oh, baby. Hit it, Paul. Hit it. Come on, bring it. Yeah. We bought a tree. We got a tree. This is tree, tree planting music. Headbang. Got it. Got it. Wheels up. Wheels up. <laughs> Now drop this tree off. We still got some more light, and uh, Paul is being really good 
uh, being a good tour guide, you hook you hook that up to your radio and just punch in what you want. I have this device. Yeah. That I can do this. I'll show you this. About some Marty Robbins. No, I want to. I want to do this one too. Uh, okay. Search. here Paul is you Paul used to be a pilot and she knows like technology like you Dinesh he really knows technology and whatever he's doing is complicated <laughs> but, but I'm sure we're gonna hear the fruits of his labors here pretty soon Okay. Oh, baby! Oh, that that just moves my heart. Oh yeah. Who's gonna ride that chrome three wheel? Who's gonna make that first mistake? Oh, I still got this sucker on Zoom. We saw, we saw the mountains. At any rate, uh, there's the flag, and there's the tree, and that's where it's gonna end up at. And in five years, that baby is gonna look beautiful. Rock You gotta listen to this music. Fighting chicken, fighting chicken, gotta play the fighting chicken. Fighting chicken, you give to me. And he's just a mean old Filipino man. Just a mean old Filipino man. <laughs> Mr. Kazu Tanaka. Yes, <laughs> plenty. Camera, plenty. Electronic equipment. But he don't give to me. He got plenty electronic equipment, but he don't give to me. Just a mean old Hey, there's your tree. Trim differently than I would. This lomi 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 got plenty experience. 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 She got experience early. Here, that's your tree. And she's just a mean old cocktail waitress. <laughs> That's what your trio look like in five years. Mr. Kamaka Diva, only still coming out to fall. Got plenty, not too much of nothing. Nothing. Got plenty, nothing. He takes it out on me. <laughs> and he's just a mean old Hawaiian man. <laughs> All us guys, we desire It's amazing we can live in the same place. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> We can live in the same place. That's Mr. Sancho Lee by uh, the Beamer Brothers. The Beamer Brothers? The Beamer Brothers. Oh, they're hot. Are they Hawaiian? Yeah. Oh, I guess so. Celio and Capono Beamer. Oh. This okay. was recorded in 1975. My goodness. So this is almost 45 years old, that yeah. song about he just a mean old Hawaiian <laughs> man. He got nothing and he take it out on me. <laughs> what we're looking at here is the city park. And the Veterans Memorial. Uh, these guys are patriots up here. Here is the public restrooms of the city. Wow. <laughs> the public <laughs> restroom for the city. And check this windmill. 
That is class. Okay. And located there at the public restroom is an air pump for bicycle tires. Awesome. How many yeah. public restrooms provide that service? Ah, <laughs> uh, shoot. In, in California, restrooms are really hard to find. You gotta, you almost have to go into a Taco Bell or McDonald's or a fast food chain to use their bathrooms when you need to. Okay. Now you, you put it on this pan. Big wide angle. Okay. Got okay, I'm as wide as I can get. Uh, we're going down this front street. This is uh, the front street. It's, it is the main street, but it's called Front Street. It's called Front Street, and it is the main street in Linden, and it is classy. Uh, we're just taking our time driving down the middle of their main street. Get the big windmill. And we got a big windmill coming up. This is a Dutch town. Uh, I don't know if you heard Paul say, but this is a Dutch town. And to, just so you know, this is the United States Post Office in Linden, and it's it's displayed in Dutch in Nederlander. Oh, postkantoor. Postkantoor. Here we go for you Dutch people. My all my friends in the Netherlands and Amsterdam. Check this out. If you haven't here yet, Stein Postkantoor, United States Post Office in Dutch, in Linden, Washington, 600 Front Street. That, that is awesome. That's a solid building. That is just incredible. Yeah, I'm gonna bring things in a little closer. I'm gonna catch the rest of the road. Oop, I'm zooming. Hope I'm not making you guys nervous with my zooms. Dinesh said to watch my zoom. Too much, too much zooming. So I got it as wide as I can get it now. We're going past this really cool windmill. Just now, like, just I'm like you see in you, Amsterdam. We're gonna pull into the the city parking lot so Rock can film this wonderful painting. Oh, oh, this is too cool. I want you to get out yeah. and pan the whole thing. I, I gotta get out. This is too good. Ah. We've got a mural here that is definitely Dutch influence. And it's a big one. That 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 looks so real. That looks like that kid's actually hanging in the tree. And this is all a big mural in, in the city parking lot, which is free parking, incidentally. That's uh, getting to be very, very, uh, very, very unusual. Anketiten or Anketiten, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but you know what it is, it's antiques. And a big, warm welcome sign here. And let me zoom in on this because uh, this is a good bunch. Uh, the mural is courtesy of the Lions Club. And all I can say to you Lions out there is thank you very much for being who you are and the good works that you do. Um, I gave my first uh, public speech uh, as a Boy Scout to get a merit badge in public speaking for the Lions Club. And my scoutmaster, Gene Wren, was a member, and uh, Walt, his best friend. Um, they've both since passed, and I miss them. But they were lions. So roar, lions, roar. You guys are good. Free wood. That's handy, because it's cold up here. Um, I got three layers of cl uh, clothes on. And um, they're giving away wood. Uh, you can use it in your fireplace. I help you heat bill down. What a beautiful town. Uh, Linden, may the Lord bless and keep you and let you prosper. Uh, it, it's just, uh, I feel such an incredible sense of, of gratitude for being here. 
Uh, and I thank God for every day I'm standing up. And I'm standing up now. And I'm thanking God for his wonders and uh, for the wonderful Dutch who initially settled this place and kept it this way. And there's so many nice people that I've seen. And I'm getting back into Piggy's truck. Uh, we called him Piggy when he was young. It's, it's not a bad word. I can call him Piggy, but I get to ride in the big Dodge 4x4 with my brother. You want to ride in a manly man truck? Yeah, boy. Okay, come so. Meet my brother. <laughs> Me to places where no man has gone before, obviously. Oh, nice tractor. Oh, a tank! No wonder! A tank! We got a tank here! <laughs> Rock out! Uh, Paul had to make an emergency exit to the nearest restroom, so we drove back to his house, and I'm giving Tasman here a walk and she likes to get outside. She's a little shy uh, because of her early experience of uh, um, surviving a storm. And um, this is a real fighter dog here. It's an Alaskan Husky. And I didn't bring any pickup stuff, so I hope she didn't poop. I haven't got any plastic with me. But uh, apparently uh, she was raised as a brood bitch and um, she had, she was pregnant and then there was a big storm up here and I guess the kennels blew down and she escaped into the woods. And in the woods, all by herself, she had six pups. And uh, apparently, uh, Immediately after she had the pups, uh, a pack of coyotes attacked and they wanted to eat the pups and eat her. And she fought valiantly. And they found her the next day, um, four of the pups had been killed by the coyotes, but she wouldn't let them eat them. And two were still alive. She's a very, very strong dog, but she's a little shy uh, because of what happened with the coyotes. Uh, she saved the lives of two of her pups and made sure that her, her dead pups, the four dead pups, weren't eaten or taken away. Um, as a result, uh, she lost an eye. Her right eye's gone. Hey, Tasman, can we see your face? Tasman. Stop, stop. Here, look at that beautiful face. Tasman, Tasman, Tasman. There you see she's missing an eye and she's scarred. Uh, she really put up a fight and so did the coyotes. She was probably outnumbered 10 to one or else she should have won the battle. She really did win the battle, but um, at the pound, being scarred up and being one-eyed, uh, not, a, not a lot of people wanted to adopt her. But uh, my, my brother Paul and his wife Jan uh, did. And she's got her own ways of thinking, but she's been sleeping with me every night. And it's cold up here. And they're very economical and so it's, it's, uh, it feels like the house is about 50 degrees at night. You wear your clothes and a jacket, I do, in, in the house. And uh, the bedroom's cold until you get underneath the covers. And I really appreciate her sleeping with me because she's just warm and cuddly and furry. And I, I know I'm, I'm cheating on my wife by sleeping with another woman. But I think in this case, it's understandable. She's just a, just a wonderful dog. 
and that's Tasman. And I just hope she doesn't poop on somebody else's property. And this looks like right here, this is the tree. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm quite sure this is uh, a cherry tree. And that's what I gave uh, Paul and Jan. Uh, so maybe in five or 10 years, they'll have something like this, just brilliant colors to look at. It'll be very, very pretty against their house. Back again, uh, we've completed a walk around the block. And if the wind picks up, you'll see that flag at my brother's house. Uh, that's, uh, that touches my heart. Uh, I think you'll see a flag at each of my, my brother's houses. In fact, all of my brother's houses. There you go. You're blowing in the wind there. Let me zoom that in. God bless America. I started to tell you about my brothers. Um, I know there's a flag where my oldest brother lays at rest. Uh, he was killed in Vietnam as a first lieutenant at the age of, I believe, 23. Uh, next in line were the twins. Uh, Paul has a fraternal twin, John. Uh, Paul, Paul's retired military. He was a pilot, CW4. And his twin brother ended up uh, in Special Forces, which he loved. And um, he ended up a full bird colonel. And if, if they had let him, he'd still be in the Army. There's Jan coming out. And uh, then there's me. I, I, was, I made it to captain. And then I, I wanted to be a, a rich and famous movie star 50 years ago. And now that's just not as important as it used to be. Uh, but I like doing this show a lot. And then there's... She was a teacher and, and uh, a principal for a time. Uh, then uh, my little brother Tommy, he's 10 years junior to me, he also uh, wound, wound up a full, full bird colonel. Yeah, we just went around the block. Oh, look at this. Check this out. Glitz House. Auf Deutsch. <laughs> okay, we're back home, and we've probably had enough adventures for the day, so uh, I'm about ready to take off my boots and, and relax for the rest of the day. Brother Paul has another toy. He's lighting his own little barbecue fire that is really weird looking. This is a real low-grade pine from Canada. Yeah. That they make uh, fire sticks. You no know, pallets. Oh. I, I get free wood from the tractor store. Ah. Because they ship all their big tractors and shit in pallets. Yeah. And, and boxes. You get the and that, that's flaming up now. And it's free. Yeah. Oh, and I'm sitting in a nice rocker chair outside where the chilly winds blow. I'm going where those chilly winds don't blow. Going to my sweetheart or something, that's where I want to go. Oh, uh, your fire is working there. Oh, you ain't and you seen used nothing yet. two matches, right? Two matches. You ain't seen nothing. That's yet. a pretty good unit you've got there. I haven't seen yet that on the market. Where'd you get it? Amazon.com? Yeah, but I'll explain it. Hey! Oh, yeah. Look at that! Hey! You're you're out you're on rock out on a limb there, buddy. My my new channel. You're gonna be famous. Perfect. <laughs> you're you're gonna get cards and letters from people you don't even know. And meet and meet awesome. Melissa. <laughs> Melissa, say hello to Uncle Rock. Hi Melissa. Hey. Hi. Hey, look, you're wearing the same shirt. Hey, we're wearing the same shirt, dude. 
This is actually, this is this is your dad's. I, I borrowed it. Um, I didn't oh, bring nice. anything warm up here. So is it Melissa? Yeah. Melissa, nice to meet you. You nice be to meet you. you be good to my nephew. I'll hunt you down and take you out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right. Say hi, Paul. Hi, good boy. Hey, Dad. Hey. I see some Alaskan amber there on the table. Oh, that's Dad. Yeah. And and me, this is a uh, specimen. <laughs> 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 Hey, this is uh no it, it, it's <laughs> it's uh uh I've had an issue with bronchitis and dehydration and um I'm I'm learning my my wife and my my daughter uh, have told me to to drink more and I can see how it's helping me um I'm a lot more alert oh you're saying you watch you watched my elders Oh, yeah, yeah, I told my, a lot of my friends about you from uh, playing World of Warcraft for years, and one of my buddies from L.A. put it on, and he's like, hey, didn't you say Rock's your uncle? And I was like, yeah, and he goes, holy shit, I know someone famous. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it, it's, it's funny, because it seems like no matter where I go, somebody will spot me. And in this case, I'm, I'm up near, you know, 10 miles from Canada, and we're in a, a bakery, and two little kids come up to me with saucer eyes and uh, said, are, 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 you, are you rock? And I said, you watch YouTube, don't you? And, and they looked at each other and said, I told you so, he is. That's rock, that's Rocky. So I, I did an interview with them, and that's going to be on the show, too. Right now, you're being filmed, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to brush my hair. <laughs> yeah, and your beard. The beard looks good. Beard look. What do you think of mine? Huh? That's looking good, Rock. It looks good. Yeah. Hey, look at this fire now. Here's man, fire. man, we're ready. Ready to broil. I got to go in. Hey, right. say goodbye. Nice, everybody. nice, JP. Nice to, nice to meet you, <laughs> Melissa. Bye bye. Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Sunday morning. Now, this is my brother, Paul, and he's a year older than I am. And he, uh, he'll eat breakfast. And we, we slept in. We slept in until like 10 30. And Jan was up, you know, I don't know when, I, 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock. But she had breakfast made and ready. And uh, then Paul always drinks a glass of ice water, and it makes him cold. And so after breakfast, he goes and takes a nap. Uh, he's got the most amazing clocks up here. Let me show you. This is one of the most beautiful clocks I've ever seen. This one, uh, Granddaddy Clark, uh, just went off. It's a beauty. This is just beautiful. And it's got cabinetry. Uh, they spent 10 years in Germany in the military, and they've got these Hummels that are just beautiful. I'll show you my girlfriend. Mary Beth is going to be jealous. I've been sleeping with another woman. And here she is. Here's my girlfriend. This is who, I, this is who I've been sleeping with. This is Tasman. I told you about Tasman. She is a beauty. And she's... Uh, it's a little chilly here, and they keep their house a little chillier than we keep ours, but they're used to it. And having this dog on top of the bed, and it's a very clean dog. Hey, how you doing? How you doing, Tess? You're a sweetheart. Hi, right, folks. Uh, it's a sad time. Uh, when I came here, it was raining, and when I'm leaving here, it's raining. And that's okay. I had a wonderful time here. I'm, I'm leaving now. And this, this is Tasman. 
You can see her scars and they're missing her eye. And she's a courageous dog. She's still a little shy after that attack, so you gotta approach her gently. And she's got her own mind, like most dogs do, but man, sleeping with her is like sleeping with Mary Beth. She's she's furry. <laughs> <laughs> she's warm. She's a warmy uh, dog. She doesn't snore though. Yeah. She doesn't snore. I'm gonna miss you, baby. I'm gonna miss you. This was a beautiful dog. You're a beautiful dog and I love you. I hope to see you again, okay? God willing, I'll come back here.